Today I am partnering with YesStyle and I am going to review some sun products that they sent me. This whole channel started to help with like my PCOS and all of the symptoms and those symptoms obviously include acne. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, finding a sunscreen that was not going to make me break out was impossible. Like I have searched high and low. I have tried high, high end brands, like very expensive brands. I have tried the cheaper brands, like the Neutrogenas of the world. And even if it said clear skin, this and that, it always made me break out. Now you guys saw, or if you've been following my channel for a while, I was using a sunscreen called Clear Skin from my dermatologist and I actually really liked that. That was the first sunscreen I've ever had in my life that didn't make me break out. That aerosol like had a really high concentration of alcohol and every time I used it, I noticed my skin would get really red. And to me, it's like, well, maybe I'm just sensitive to the sunscreen, but I would rather my skin red and be able to use the sunscreen then my skin break out kind of thing right you kind of like have to weigh the pros and cons fast forward a few years i start learning about korean sun scare korean sun scare why can't i say it korean sun care and their ingredients are just like so far superior to what is available here in canada and not only that ladies and gentlemen it is the cost point. I thought that I would get these sunscreens from YesStyle because they do have Korean, Japanese, Chinese brands that aren't really available here. And I thought that I would try them out for a month and see my results, see what I liked and didn't like and kind of give you a review. The sunscreens that I chose are all for acne prone skin. They're all, you know, targeted to people with like oily skin or people with sensitive skin. I kind of looked for those kind of two keywords. I tried to keep it fragrance free, but even some that I thought were fragrance free, I could smell something in it. I've not experienced these types of sunscreens in Canada ever. And for the price point, like you just can't go wrong. So I'm gonna start with my least favorite to my most favorite. The least favorite of mine was from Shishido. Shishido, should I don't know, I don't know. How do you guys pronounce it? Shishido, Shishido, one of those. They have a line called Anessa and it's a perfect UV sunscreen mild milk. It's an SPF 50. And so this one goes for $51 Canadian. And yeah, ironically, this was the most expensive of all of them, but I just did not like it at all. It is really great in terms of it's fragrance free. It doesn't have, it's a great primer if people like putting primer on before they put on makeup. It has antioxidants like green tea, which are great for the skin. It has hyaluronic acid, it has collagen. So you're not just getting a sunscreen, you're getting like an actually like really good product for your skin. But for me, it was like a little bit too greasy. The person that I could see loving this is someone who has very dry sensitive skin because it was very quenching like very quenching and yeah the consistency is like if you ever had mineral sunscreen on your face you know it's like so thick there's a white cast it doesn't rub in it doesn't come off it's just awful what they've done here it seems is they've taken something like that but they've made it liquidy so it does actually blend in however if you have darker skin tones i think this would leave a white cast on you i can't be really upset with that because this is meant for korean women this is meant for asian women who have very light skin tones um so i noticed with me like i'm quite pale right now it's the beginning of spring slash summer and it did leave a slight white cast on my skin so like i feel like in the end of summer like this would definitely show okay the next up is from this brand called Sunplay, and it's also like a baby milk. So milk must be a thing on trend on the other side of the pond. And this is an SPF 34. This goes for $14, so like a quarter of the price of the other one. And this is also made for really sensitive skin. This one's actually made for baby, so there's no coloring, no dyes, water resistant and sweat resistant. So... Again, this consistency was slightly better than this one, but it was like um, still like that kind of like mineral, 
mineral like a uh, sunscreen kind of consistency where when you rub it in and you put a lot on because as I mentioned you need a lot of sunscreen you can still kind of see a white cast now does this actually eventually like rub in yes not saying when you put it on that it's there and you can like have a you have a white face like that's not it at all but there's definitely like a white cast but it leaves your skin looking really nice really glowy it has like a really glow to it so it's not matte okay the next one which i actually like really liked but i put it mid-range which i will explain in a second it's from this brand called thank you farmer this is their sun project shimmer sun essence Brightening Wrinkle Care SPF 30. So it looks like this. And this one runs for $28, so kind of mid-range. There is niacinamide in this, which is really good for helping lighten those hyperpigmentations um, on your face, which for me, I suffer with a lot of hyperpigmentation because of my acne. I have red dots everywhere. So niacinamide is, has been shown to help lighten those. So I think that's why it says brightening. Wrinkle Care, I think it has stuff like glycerin, which is super hydrating for the skin, and shea butter. But this is like quite shimmery, and it's nice because I actually will wear this on top of my makeup or underneath it, and I'll explain. If I wear this under my makeup, um, and I put makeup over it, it's like I've put on a sparkly primer. So my skin has like a really nice glow to it. If I put this on like the corners of my cheeks or like my nose or my chin after my makeup, it looks like I've put on a really, really mild highlighter, like liquid highlighter. So it looks so pretty. The only con though is when I wear this all over my face without any makeup, my face is like, very dewy looking. Some of you may love that, all the power to you, but I look like a greasy disco ball because it's like, like you've put highlighter on your whole face. So I would recommend this if you're someone who wears foundation who likes the look of like a really like a uh, shimmery primer because this will make your skin when you put the foundation on look amazing. Um, but also after, like I just really, really like it. The consistency is like a cream base. It's very light, very airy, did not make me break out. Now be aware if you don't like having that like dewy finish, you're more of a matte gal or guy, this is not gonna be for you because it definitely brings that dewiness. So mid of the line for me because i actually really do like it but will i be using this as like my sun's like sun cream that i like i'm reapplying all day probably not okay next oh my gosh i love this sunscreen so much this one is the purito centella green level unscented sun spf 50 essential oil free suitable for all skin types uv shield brightening calming and moisturizing no sticky and no white cast oh my gosh like can i just say this one is $17 Canadian. It has things like hyaluronic acid, which help keep your skin supple and like moisturized. It has centella or centella. The Italian in me wants to say centella, although I know it's definitely centella, which is not really used a lot in North American uh, skincare, but this is meant to be super calming on the skin and boy, did it deliver, okay? I have such red skin because of all my hyperpigmentation. And so this like has like a slight, slight, you're not gonna be able to see it here, but I'll show you here. It has like a slight green cast to it. And because of the centella in it, it kind of, I'm not gonna say it takes away the redness of your skin, but it definitely calms it down. And I just noticed that like, at the end of the day, when I take it off, my skin just looks less red, like less noticeably red than with any other product I've ever used. And I don't know if it's because there's like a green tint to it or if that green tint is from the Centella. I don't know. I also love that it's an SPF 50 plus. 
The consistency is like a really lightweight gel cream. It actually feels like refreshing putting it on. It does not feel like any sunscreen I've ever felt before and I'm ordering like literally 50 of these when I finish this video. No white cast at all, so whatever your skin color, this is gonna be amazing. Okay, and my most favorite, which was so hard because I really do love the Purito one. My most favorite was this brand called Dear Claire's, and this is their Soft Airy UV Essence Everyday Sun Protector. SPF 50 plus, um, water-based gel texture and vegan friendly. Okay, this is game changer like these two alone i can't okay like I can i'm so excited like i don't know if you guys can tell this one um was just like the consist uh, i just it's kind of looks the same as the purito one but it goes on like a serum almost. Like it comes out like a cream, but it's so lightweight and refreshing that it could, if you had told me it was like a serum or like a very, very, very light cream, I would believe it. You would never know this is a sunscreen. There's no fragrance, no dyes, no irritants. So it's really great for sensitive skin. I haven't had any breakouts using this either. This one goes for $30, but you do get quite a bit of product in this one. It's 80 mils, so it's like, it's like, the size of my face like it's, it's a big bottle it's not like this right like I love you I love you too though this was a very close a very close call before I move on to the final product I do have a code with yes style you get five percent below if you enter the code sister squad um, but no pressure it's just something to help support my channel moving on to the last product um, this I put at the last because it doesn't count in this contest because it's on a sunscreen but it is an aloe propolis soothing gel this is from a company called Benton and this runs for I think yeah $24 okay this is something that I was using if I was out in the sun all day and then I would come home and this I would actually turn into like part of my nightly routine I would put this on as a a serum or whatever and I thought I knew what aloe vera gel was because my whole life I've been lied to in the supermarket buying those like green bottles you guys all know what I'm talking about and I wanted to include this because the ingredients in this also help people like myself and if you are suffering from acne with acne hyperpigmentation so the aloe in this is 80% aloe juice, 80%. I dare you to find that in Canada for this price point. I dare you. It's see-through, it's really lightweight. It feels like, again, it feels like almost like a serum. Like it feels like water. Like even now on my skin, like, it's refreshing, it's hydrating, it's so lightweight. The ones in the stores are always sticky and like they have that smell. Like this has, this has no smell at all. So yeah, let me know if you have any brands that you have found from South Korea or Japan or China that you found really amazing for your skin and your sun care needs. Um, and yeah, or if you want to try these below and you have tried them, let me know your experiences. Hope you like this video. Please give it a like and subscribe because it really helps support my channel. And I will see you all in the next video, whenever that is. Bye.